This is question number seven. We're told a cuboid has a rectangular cross section where the length of a rectangle is equal to twice its width, x centimetres, as shown in figure two. The volume of a cuboid is 81 cubic centimetres. In part A for three marks, we need to show that the total length L centimetres of the 12 edges of the cuboid is given by L is equal to 12x plus 162 over x squared. So we have a volume and we know that the volume of a cuboid will simply be the product of the three dimensions. We only have two of them here, so I'm just going to add another one and I'm going to call this length y. So we can say now that the volume is going to be 2x multiplied now by x multiplied by y. So we've got 81, so 81 is equal to 2x squared y. If I look at this, I need it in terms of x. So from here, I can say that y is going to be 81 over 2x squared. So that now is an expression in x for the length of this part right here. So if we now consider we've got 12 edges. So with our 12 edges, just writing this out, we're going to have 4 multiplied. So we've got 4 times the 2x. We're going to add to that now four times the x. So I've got four of these, one here, one here, one there, and one around the other side. Then we're going to add to that now four lots of the 81 over 2x squared, which I've just found. So therefore, we can say now that the length is going to be on here. We've got 8x plus 4x. And then if we look at this one here, the four and the two are going to cancel plus 162 over x squared, and just tidy that up, L is equal to 12x plus for 162 over x squared as required. So I've just defined this length to be y to express that in terms of x. In part b for six marks, we need to use calculus to find the minimum value of L. So what we're looking for here is dl dx. I'm just going to rewrite this. I'm going to write that l is equal to 12x plus 162x to the minus 2. So we can say now that dl dx, differentiating, we're going to have 12. Then we're going to have now multiplying down. This is going to give me minus 324x to the minus 3. We can say for min, so writing this in, for minimum value, we can say that dl dx will be equal to zero. So all I'm doing at this stage is simply stating this for the minimum value. So let's go ahead and write this out. Now with this, I'm just going to write this. Zero is going to be equal to 12 minus 324 over x cubed. We can divide both of these by uh, 12, so I can write 0 is equal to 1 minus 27 over x cubed. Adding 27 over x cubed to both sides, that will be equal to 1. So we can write from here now that x cubed is equal to 27, so x is going to be equal to 3. So x is going to be equal to 3, that gives me the value of x. So use calculus to find the minimum value of L. So what we can say at this stage is when X is equal to 3, L will be equal to 12 lots of 3 plus 162 over 3 squared, which is going to give me 9. So let's go ahead and work this out. So in the calculator, if you want to do that, it's 36 plus, what have we got, 162. So 162 divided by 9, and that's going to give me 54. So L is going to be equal to 54. So that gives us what we want. So L is 54, and we can say that the units are centimetres. In part C, for two marks, we need to justify by further differentiation that the value of L you have found is a minimum. So if we pick it up just here, we've got an expression for dl dx. We need the second derivative, d2l, by dx squared. That we're going to multiply down by the power, as the 12 will cancel, it will 
turn to zero. So we're going to have 900. So this is going to be plus multiplying this by three. That's going to give me 972. 972 x to the minus four. We can say now that if this is a minimum, so we can say now four min, we can say d2l by dx squared is greater than zero. And we can see from this now that we've got 972 over x to the fourth, which is three to the power of four, which is greater than zero. Therefore, we've got now a min. So all we've done is taken the second derivative. We've subbed in now x is equal to three and shown that it's a minimum.